So with that, I am going to uh, very quickly uh, do a little demo of simply uh, what's involved in BIOP. So having launched the program, I'm on the, the geometry screen. If I define a footprint for the building, um, based on defaults, I have a building of that size. I could quickly add a second story to the building and we'll see that there's considerably more flexibility. Uh, so having defined the geometry, I can go to the option screen and make some selections. So for example, if instead of an R13 wall, I wanted an R19 wall, I can do that. And I could uh, select some slab insulation, etc. And then I can go to the site screen and select uh, a location where I would like to run, say Chicago. I could make some other changes here. And that completes my input on my three um, input screens, so I'm ready to run. And I will say yes, I would like to run this one design. Uh, down at the bottom, we see some status. Uh, I, currently, I'm using the DOE 2 simulation engine, which is somewhat faster than Energy Plus. And so now I have results. Uh, for my design down here, because I ran one design, there's only one point in the upper left, and these are properties uh, for the, that design. So that's a quick illustration of uh, what it takes to get from input to output in BIOPT.